All right, guys, it's day 15. <laughs> We're three fifths of the way through. <laughs> and um, can I tell you, when I saw the label on today's bottle, I thought, all right, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay, everybody. This is Kalila, eight year old Kalila, 59.5%. You know what I like about Kalila? Um, for a long part of its history, it was used almost exclusively in blends. Johnny Walker, and it was any time a blend needed to add a little smoke, but it didn't want that smoke to take over everything, it seems that Kalila was its go-to distillery. And uh, I like that because what that means is it's a uncharacteristically light and uh, more accessible Isla in the sense of when you get Ardbeg, Lafroig, and you know Brooklady, like they just they're showstoppers. They do their own thing. They do it. They don't play well with others. You just got to take them on their own. But when you get a Kalila that understands how to bring the smoke, but it also brings it with the back tones being light and floral and pretty, um, it reminds me of when I was talking about when I try some of the more space sidey peated releases where you get all the rich peat, but you also get the light touch vanillas and honeys. And this is bourbon cask, so even more so. But I really like that. I like that. I um, And... Overly sherried things. So there's a weird thing for me in sherried whiskeys, and I haven't even smelled this glass yet. There's a weird thing for me in sherried whiskeys, which is that I don't like lightly sherried whiskeys all that much. Um, when it gets to just pure sherry cask, like Glendronic or Abelor, it's like, oh, okay, that, for some reason, I really like that. Um, or I prefer bourbon cask. But this mid-range, where it's sort of sherry cask finished, but not quite... For some reason, that always leaves me going, eh. It's got a weird, clingy, sweet, but none of the rich tobacco notes. And it turns me off on it. So I actually really like Kalila. And if you really want to try what I think they do best, try one of Kalila's um, unpeated releases. And that's great. Okay, that's C. This is actually more smoky than I would have remembered from a typical Kalila. See, this is just, I'm having a hard time getting past pure smoke and pepper. With a little bit of vanilla to keep it sweet. But this is bright and shiny. Yeah, it's so good though. It's so good. All the peat. There's very low sweetness, and what sweetness is there is all vanillas. It's shiny and metallic, um, but in a beautiful way, right? Like, um, like new armor. <laughs> I'm thinking of, uh, you know what's weird is, I don't know where this came into my head, but I remember the movie Night's Tale, which had Heath Ledger, and, uh, he was doing, um, you know, it's a musical from a medieval movie. For some reason, this, <laughs> I have no explanation for this, but this whiskey is making me think Knight's Tale, which is this, it's, um, let me see if I can interpret this in a way that makes it make sense instead of feel totally ridiculous. Um, it's going to be ridiculous no matter what I do. <clears throat> It's a movie about an era that was dirty, gritty, brutal, rough, bloody, right? Romanticized, but in reality, not all that sexy. Um, but done as a musical, which takes all the grit and turns it into a shiny romance, right? To me, Kulila is a whiskey that takes a gritty, rough, rich, briny, region and then slightly glosses it with vanillas and musical numbers. <laughs>
I really love it. I mean, it's this is this is a Secret Spirits release, so it's just a barrel of Kuila. Um, it's just it's just good. It's just good. Kuila is always just it's simply good. It's not. Uh, Whoa! Well, I never expected that. It's exactly what you thought you were going to get with a Kuila, but it does not disappoint. Yeah, I'm going to prove it down just a little bit because it's just. It's 60%, 59.5. It's, uh, it's serious. But I'm trying to find anything other than just, yeah, this is Kuila. Either way, it's good. Man. What I will tell you is adding a little bit of water makes the finish last a lot longer. At 59.5, the finish sort of goes bing and then just sort of fades into quick fade. With a little bit of water, it pushes the oils out. And I am still tasting it. I'm still tasting it like I just took a sip. It is not going anywhere. It's just hanging out. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Before I go back to another sip, I may need to some... Ah. Screw it. I like this, but I like Kalila, so that's no surprise. So, um, we've entered my favorite territory. I'm interested in what the next 10 days bring. Until tomorrow, may your crazy stay this side of legal, and may you return before we have time to miss you. Cheers.